leap day yet but it's going to be leap day this week in our world so let me tell you about leap day what's that penny oh yeah i couldn't find him penny wanted to know where our frog went we were gonna bring a frog to leap into our video because it's leap day coming up but all the frogs we could find were green and we use a green screen as you know so the frogs that are green just disappear into the air, so we can't use them. So anyways, Leap Day doesn't really have anything to do with frogs. We just like to talk about frog stuff because frogs leap around and sometimes people call it Leap Day. Now, here we have Penny. Penny decided to wear her bunny outfit because bunnies hop and leap around too. So that's why we went with the cute bunny outfit. I um, love it. Penny picked a really great outfit to wear. It's perfect. So what do you want to know about Leap Day, Penny? What could we help everybody understand? What do you think? You're right. Penny said we should tell you why we have Leap Day and when it is. Did you know that Leap Day only happens once every four years? And it happens on February 29th. So if you look at last year's calendar for 2023, you're going to see that there was no Leap Day. There was none. You know why? Because it wasn't a leap year. But this year, in 2024, there is a leap year. So that means we get a leap day, which is an extra day on February 29th that isn't on all the other calendars. It only happens every four years. Isn't that really cool? I think so too. What's that, Penny? Oh, why? That's a really good question. So Penny wants to know, why do we have leap day? Why is it only every four years and not every year? Why can't we have February 29th every single year? Well, I'll tell you why. First, I'm going to need something to represent the sun. Do you have anything with you, Penny, that represents the sun? Perfect. Can I use that? Penny said I can use her Care Bear. So this is Funshine Bear. And Funshine Bear has a sunshine on their belly. So we can use Funshine Bear as our sun for right now. Bear with me here. I'm going to demonstrate some stuff. Do you have something we could use as the earth, Penny? Um, oh yeah, I see it, I see it. She has an Easter egg. Easter egg's next, Easter's next month, so she's preparing early, I guess. So we have a blue Easter egg to represent the earth. Now what happens every year is the earth goes all the way around the sun and it takes a whole year to get all the way around the sun. Now here's the thing. There are 365 days in one year but it actually takes the earth 365 days plus a quarter of a day. So one fourth of a day or 0.25 days to get all the way around the sun. Well, here's the thing. What are you gonna do with that other quarter of a day? That would really throw our clocks off if we had that every year. If we were like, okay, it's February 28th and now it's a quarter of the day on February 29th, but then we're gonna switch to March 1st at what? nine in the morning or something, that would be crazy. So what we do is we save that quarter of a day and we put it away safely, like in a safe, and we keep it for four years from now. Because what happens is each year we get that extra quarter of a day and we put it in a safe, we save it. And then the next year we get a quarter of a day and we save it. And the next year we get a quarter of a day and we save it. And the next year we get a quarter of a day extra. And guess what? By the time we get through four years, we have one whole day saved up because, you know, if you know about quarters, 
you know that four quarters makes a dollar or four quarter pieces of a pizza make a whole pizza. So four quarters of a year make one whole or one four quarters. See, this is crazy. Four quarters of a day, put them all together and you get one whole day. Sorry about that. You know, if we don't make mistakes, we never learn anything. So that was my mistake for today, talking about years and days. So one quarter of a day is saved for four years in a row and it makes one whole day. Isn't that cool? You understand? Perfect. All right, so Penny says she understands. I'm gonna give her back her stuff here. Penny, what else do we wanna know about Leap Day? Oh, that's a good idea. So Penny wants me to tell you guys about some cool things that people could do on Leap Day. So one time in Maine, 2004, I think, they built the biggest snowman in the world on Leap Day. And it's even in the Guinness Book of World Records. Now, this thing was 122 feet tall. Pretty cool, huh? So that was a great way to spend their time as a whole town. I know that there has been a bigger snowman built, but they didn't get the Guinness Book of World Records to verify it. So we're still going with the main snowman. It's the biggest one. We also have um, an opportunity to just do something special, right? So one of the things Penny and I thought we might do is build a time capsule. Do you know what a time capsule is? That's right, a time capsule is somewhere where we save things over, a time, over an amount of time, and we open them up and see what we saved. So we're gonna fill out something like this as a class in my classroom, and we are going to each fill out something about us right now, and then something we hope for what will happen four years from now. So my first graders that I teach right now are going to have a little page written out for themselves they're gonna tell themselves what they hope for in the future and tell themselves what's happening now. And then in fifth grade, in four years, in 2028, we're gonna open up our time capsule at school and we're gonna find out what we had happen over the last four years. It could be kind of fun. You might wanna try it too. Well, that's about all we know about Leap Day for now. We hope that you have an amazing Leap Day and do something fun. Maybe play an extra game or ride your bike a little longer or watch a movie with your family or play a game or make your own time capsule. It's all up to you. Have a great Leap Day and Penny and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.